Hi, welcome to a presentation on the BRIC economies. I'm Ashish Mathur, and that's my website, ashishmathur.com. There's a twofold objective of this presentation. First and foremost is to showcase the Power BI features of Excel 2013. And the next is to analyze, study, and compare the socio-economic indicators of the BRIC countries over a period of time, as well as to study the interplay of key socio-economic indicators. I have fetched a lot of my data for this analysis from the World Bank website. I have a file there for BRICS GDP indicators, uh, which has down column A, all the countries listed. Third one has the various GDP indicators. Thereafter, I got data for all the years right from 1960 all the way to 2012. I fetched similar data for uh, the other indicators as well, for health indicators and connectivity indicators, so on and so forth. The next activity was to actually import data from those Excel files into my data model, which I got via the Power Pivot tool. So in the Power Pivot tool, the data model that I created has relationships as you can see in this diagram over here. So it's something like that. We're coming on to the presentation now. Now on the left hand side in a card style format, I actually do have three pieces of information for each country. So that's the GDP in US dollars billion, the population in 2012, as well as the GDP per capita. You'll also see for every country, there's a flag shown Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And for each slide of this presentation, you'll, you'll observe that all countries will always appear only in this order. To view data for a specific country, when I click there, I see data only for Russia or else if I simply select the flag over there, I see the data only for Russia. Now, going on to the continent summary, now, there are various pieces of information that one can see on this particular slide. So one selects the continent from here, the country from here, that's the population data for the year 2012, that's the GDP growth and the population growth for the year 2012 and the pie chart over here shows me what is the proportion of GDP of the two continents. One assumption that I made over here is that uh, Russia is in Asia even though one fourth of its land actually is, is in Europe. Now if I wanted to view the data only for Asia, I can simply click on the Asia filter there and I see data only for Asia. Just two aspects worth highlighting on this particular slide. If I click on it once, it will actually highlight only that blue portion, dim the other portion out, and this happens for the other graphs as well. Now, if I were to actually double click on this, on the blue portion, as you can see here, I'll actually get to see what does the GDP of Asia actually constitute. In the table up above, you see the continent, you see the country, you see the GDP in US dollars billion. And there are two percentage columns shown over there. So the first column over here is basically the proportion of the GDP of this country to the GDP, all the four countries that I'm studying. So there is a second column over here for the percentage actually shows me what is the proportion of GDP of this country to the GDP of the continent. Just one more thing over here. If I were to click on this particular bar, what happens on the pie chart is that it highlights and shows me what the portion that I have just selected on the bar chart. Coming on to the country summary now, there are three charts that you see over here. The first one, which plots the years with the GDP in US dollars billion. The second one, the years with the GDP per capita. And the third one shows me the FDI inflow year on year for each of those countries. What very clearly gets borne out by the three charts over here is first and foremost, if I simply pop this chart out, I can very clearly see that in the year 2002, India ranked second in GDP only after China, whereas in 2012, India actually ranked the last among the four countries. As regards GDP per capita, so in 2004, the GDP of the Russian Federation exceeded that of Brazil. Also, in the year 2009, the GDP per capita of Brazil and the Russian Federation actually dipped. As regards FDI, as I switch the years on the slider scale, China received bulk of the FDI, so 2011, 2012. On the metric of GDP and FDI, China actually led the pack. I next wanted to study the interplay of population growth and GDP growth for the four countries right from 1960 to 2012. 
the size of the bubble here actually shows the gdp for that country let's study data only for two countries so that's china and brazil if i now click on the play button one thing with ash which actually bears out is the fact that china started with a situation of a negative gdp and a population growth in the 1960s i next wanted to study the population growth and the gdp growth for the four countries right from 2002 to the year 2012 now what clearly gets born out from chart 1 over here is that russia had a negative population growth right from 2002 till the year 2009 furthermore china had a consistent population growth of less than 1% during the same period while india had a population growth of more than 1% from the chart below it's quite clear that all countries had a gdp growth which far outpaced the population growth along all the years the effect is though far more pronounced in the case of china on this slide you can see the population composition of the four countries from 2002 till 2012 the miniature pie charts on the left hand side show you the urban rural split whereas the ones on the right hand side show you the gender split brazil and russia both had a higher proportion of urban population than rural population also while china in the initial years had a higher proportion of rural than urban population in the year 2011 china had a higher proportion of urban than rural brazil and russia both had a higher proportion of female than males in their population base though the effect is far more pronounced in the case of russia on this slide i'd like to study the interplay of the working age population and the age dependency ratio from 1960 till 2012 the size of the bubble the gdp of that country theoretically a higher working age population and a lower age dependency ratio should have a positive or a favorable impact on the economic output of a country let's actually see what happened for china and the russian federation in the initial years russia had a favorable ratio for, on both these parameters but as years passed by one can very clearly see the pace of growth of china here in i wanted to study the income disparity in the four countries so that's brazil russia india and china the blue bar over here shows the income share held by the highest 20% and the red one shows the income share held by the lowest 20% one can very clearly see for both the years that the income disparity for brazil is the highest coming to the literacy indicators now from this slide it's quite clearly borne out that for russia and china while both had a high literacy rate among adults the difference between them is quite prominent there's a 5 percentage point difference between the two if i further delve into details from the graph below it's quite clear that even among adults it's the literacy rate among adult females which was quite low in the case of china and if i were to select a different year over here one can clearly see that brazil among adults has a much lower literacy rate than that of russia and china the heat map here actually shows me for the indian subcontinent the literacy rate state wise so as one can see the yellow bar over here is the shows me the states with a literacy rate between 90 to 100% Kerala in India has a literacy rate of 93.91% which is the highest followed by Lakshadweep which has a literacy rate of 92.28%. Here are a few broad conclusions from this presentation. Despite experiencing negative population and GDP growth in the 1960s, China's economic activity surpassed that of the of the other BRIC nations. a falling age dependency ratio combined with an increasing working age population worked favorably for china when viewed from the perspective of gdp brazil had the highest income disparity as compared to russia and india